In this lesson, we're going to take a look at some of the basic rules of using exponents. Let's just get right into them. One of our first rules that we're going to look at is this top problem. It says if you have two exponents that your are two numbers with the same bases that you're multiplying together, then you add their exponents. Now, when we talk about bases, what we mean by that is, in this case, x, uh, but that could be the same number. It could be like the number 7. Uh, but if the bases are the same, then if we want to find out what the answer to the problem here is, very simply, it's just x, the same base, with the exponents added, 4 plus 3 is 7. Same thing works for division. Uh, anytime you have the same bases with different exponents, you subtract to divide. So in our case, x to the 7th minus x to the 5th would be x squared. And then a third rule that kind of goes along with that is if we have a base like x to the 3rd power in this case, and that power is raised to another power, then we multiply together the exponents. So x to the 12th in this case by multiplying together 3 times 4 here. Now let me clear this board and we'll look at a couple more rules here. Okay, when you have a negative exponent, this one's often confused, a negative exponent can always be rewritten by moving the number, the base, with its exponent to the denominator of the fraction if it's, already, if it's in the numerator as it is now. Or if it were already in the denominator, you could move it to the numerator. So you're going to move it to the other part of the fraction. In our case, we had x to the negative 4. Uh, so in order to get rid of the negative exponent, we simply moved it to the bottom or to the denominator of the fraction and made it x to the positive 4. Another law of exponents, something that you uh, don't want to get confused, is x or anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. People confuse this one also. Now they want to put 0 or some other number, but anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. One of my favorite things to do is just to draw some symbol. We'll use this. If I put that to the 0 power, it would have to equal 1. So just kind of remember that. The last thing I have written down here uh, is x to the 6 plus x to the 6 plus x to the 6. Don't be confused by this. A lot of people want to write, well, that's 6 plus 6 plus 6 is x to the 18th. Not true. We are not multiplying here. We are adding. And when you add exponents or you add numbers with exponents, if the number of the base and the exponent is the same like it is here, you simply add the coefficients, the numbers in front. So this is like a 1 and a 1 and a 1. So when you add this together, this is simply 3x squared, uh, x to the 6, rather. And so you don't change anything about the base or the exponent here. This is addition. It's not like the problem we had a minute ago. If this had said x to the 6th times x to the 6th times x to the 6th, like that, then we would have added the exponents. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 is 18, and this would have been x to the 18th. So let's take a look at a few of the kinds of problems you might encounter applying these rules of exponents. We'll start with this one. Notice here that each of these has a coefficient of something other than 1. Don't decide to apply the rules of exponents to coefficients. This 2 and this 5 are still just numbers, just like you always do. So before you do any rules of exponents, just multiply together 2 times 5 and get 10. Again, these are coefficients. The regular laws of multiplication apply here. And then we look at our variable x that has an exponent of 4 and our other one that has an exponent of 3. And because these are the same base, we write down x and we add together the exponents because now we can apply the rules of exponents. So the answer to this is 10x to the 7. I always see people try to add together 2 plus 5 and say, well, that's 7x to the 7th. If you do that, you're trying to apply the rules of exponents to just numbers, to coefficients in this case. So be sure we don't do that. Let's take a look at another one here. This is a division problem. 
same kind of thing 21 over 7 this portion of the problem those are coefficients so 21 divided by 7 is 3 but X is a common base so we can apply our rules of exponents here which is if you're dividing subtract the exponents 8 divided by 3 or 8 minus 3 when you do exponents is 5 so the answer here would be 3 X to the fifth problem like this this one you really have to be careful with remember this too is a coefficient regular rules of math apply here 2 to the third power everything inside these parentheses is going to be raised to the third power so 2 times 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 don't add 2 together uh, you just don't do that and you don't multiply 2 times 3 you're not applying the rules of exponents you're just using regular rules of math here which is 2 to the third power which is 8 now when we do our X we have a common base with a power raised to a power 4 times 3 multiply the exponents together is 12 this would be 8 X to the twelfth power here's another problem and you have to be careful with this one also notice this time we have a 2 but it's outside of the parentheses we want to deal with everything involving the parentheses first so let's take the coefficient 3 and we will I'm going to leave this like this so that we don't mess up 3 squared is 9 and then we have the base of X with a power raised to a power 4 times 2 is 8 so that's X to the eighth power now we have this problem now we can apply the 2 and since it's just a number we just multiply it by the coefficient 2 times 9 is 18 X to the eighth power so we just multiply the 2 times the 9 the coefficient 9 and we're com we have that problem completed Let's look at this problem getting a little more complex again I would deal with what's inside the parentheses first which would be this piece right here X to the fourth times X squared common base of X add coefficients 4 plus 2 is 6 that is still raised to the third power and we haven't done anything on the bottom so that's still the same also and now let's raise each parentheses to its power 8 uh, I'm sorry X to the sixth raised to the third multiply together 6 times 3 is 18 and X squared raised to the third multiply together 2 times 3 is 6 and finally we're down to a division problem with a common base of X so we subtract 18 minus 6 is 12 and our final answer then is X to the twelfth power and one final problem here we want to look at it involves a negative exponent you still just deal with a negative exponent just like any other exponent uh, on the top since they're common bases we're going to add them negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 on top and on the bottom we still have X to the third now the temptation here is going to be to say oh I have a negative 3 and a positive 3 they must cancel no that's not true a couple of ways you can approach this you can say negative 3 minus 3 which is X to the negative 6 like that and if it's X to the negative 6 then that's the same thing as 1 over X to the 6 we want to get rid of our negative so negative 3 right here minus 3 because we're dividing we're subtracting is negative 6 and then we move it this way another way to approach that let me erase this right here might even be the way I prefer it is to realize that I'm going to move this negative 3 at the top uh, down to the bottom with the 3 that's already there when I move negative 3 to the bottom it's also x to the third and when I moved it to the bottom they're now multiplied so all I have to do notice I left a 1 on top because there was nothing else up there 
All I have to do now is just to add together the threes. Three plus three is six. Either way, we'll get the correct answer. Uh, the second way, the way I've just done, will keep you from having to uh, deal with subtracting negatives from negatives if uh, negative numbers are a problem. Uh, but either way, we'll get the correct answer. Uh, moving it down first or just subtracting three from negative three. So that's the basic use of some basic laws of exponents that you have to be able to use in a variety of ways uh, working problems.